Hello and welcome everybody. Today we have the McGregor MT Turney Irons Cavity Back Investment Cast Ferrolis, just like the Ping I2, kind of during that same era. Really original thinking there, McGregor. Way to think outside of the Ping box, which they did it. It's just a copy of this. Now, some people, I'm not sure if I feel this way, maybe a little bit, but some people feel like this betrayed McGregor because they were the premium forged iron manufacturer, the premium persimmons coming out of McGregor, and now they come out with this. And some people were like, are you trying to outdo Ping? What's going on here? But, you know, McGregor wants to appeal to that market as well. I'm not really sure what to make of it just yet. The other thing I have, the other question I have, it says MT Turney, right? Now, here's a, what is this, 1960s McGregor M Turney. Does MT stand for McGregor Turney? And did they write Turney here? Because that would be a redundant acronym. MT Turney Turney. And all the junior high kids who are like the grammar police will be out there it's like, dear McGregor professionals, it's very unprofessional of you to put a redundant acronym on the back of your cavity back iron. My teacher says that you should never. But who knows, maybe it stands for Mount Turney, which is in the Pacific Northwest right next to Mount Hood. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I totally just made that up. Perimeter weighting and it looks very recognizable, 1988 through 1991. Look at this toe, very modern, what you'd expect even today to see something like that. They put the iron right here, they put the iron number right here. So we have the seven perimeter weighting, seven again on the sole, McGregor. You can already see the offset right here, clean looking hosel. And look, triple authentication. Google, we're coming after you. You stole that from us. Look, seven, 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 triple authenticate. This is, in fact, a seven iron. I love the diamonds here along the grooves. Frame the ball beautifully. And you can kind of see the offset right here. That's very much like a ping I2. Toe might be a little bit more rounded. But overall, very solid looking. Feralless. I wonder where they got that from. A <laughs> ping and they have an, a cheaper Apollo shaft on this particular one. I wonder if it looks like this came like this Apollo instead of the true temper. And we have the matched flex, match flex three. What is the three? Is that senior flex? I forget. Either way, the McGregor label here. And then we get a McGregor branded golf pride victory grip. Swing right, grip right. That's how you win your victories, right? Lovely McGregor there. All right, so it looks good, but does it feel good? I can think of one way to find out. I don't know what to think. It feels beautiful. Yes, it has kind of a lot of offset, but so does the Ping I too. It's a fine iron. It does its job just fine. It's a McGregor. Would I be a proud owner of these? Probably not. I'd be playing this set of irons because I hit them well. Okay, and that's ultimately what this is. To me, this is one of, like Ping very much, a function before fashion kind of an iron. And I think there's a part of me that likes the fashion as well as function. So all I can really say about this, the kindest thing I can say about these irons is they can be a really great value. You find these online, it seems like a lot of people aren't that familiar with these. Now you are. They feel just as good as a Ping I2. They have that little error of exclusivity because they're not just everywhere. Like the Ping I2 is just ubiquitous. For example, on eBay, you can just buy sets of those from like really beater sets to really nice, almost mint cereal matching sets. Have a look at the McGregor if you're looking for maybe a starter set, just something 
to hit around the golf course. Pretty inexpensive. At the making of this video, everything is subject to change. MT Turney, the McGregor Turney Turney cavity back irons. Let me know your thoughts. I'm excited to read your comments. If you enjoy this content, please subscribe and visit my Amazon shop in the links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching.